previously on Final Fantasy VII Remake. All right. Oh, okay, we didn't actually end the fight, but now we will. Mother -fucker. Let's dance, asshole. <laughs> Let's end this asshole. <laughs> Yeah, what an epic pass went in. And now back to my childhood. Hell! The Sneako B. Back with some more Final Fantasy VII Remake. We last left off. Uh, <laughs> uh, it hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. Damn it. Uh, I knew it. I knew that they were going to end up, you know, characterizing. At least if this game was any good, they would characterize Jesse, Biggs, and Wedge more than they did in the original game. Um, and they sure as hell did. And it sure as hell made this part so much more painful. Oh God, though, that, I think what really, really killed me too, was just seeing that, seeing Wedge had gone back to get the cats. I was like, cause I actually had that like little glimmer of hope, like, oh, they actually let him live. Nope. <laughs> oh God. By the way, some of you guys sort of said, I think the reason why Cloud and Tifa were like said to Barrett like oh you know they were in bad shape we don't know where they are right now or something and he's like oh we gotta find them later uh, they were probably lying to him right they were trying because they didn't want to overwhelm him with grief which I, I suppose that might be the case they sounded so serious when they said that like I, I thought if they did that they would have sounded a little more hesitant like how oh, Biggs and Wedge just Biggs Wedge and Jesse and we were like um uh yeah and then Je Teffy would be like oh yeah they're they were all right just seemed kind of hurt oh yeah or something you know like i i don't know they just seem so like oh they seem like in their bad shape it seems so serious so it just it felt kind of felt kind of strange I, I don't know but maybe that maybe that that, that is the case they were just they were just lying to him so they he didn't break down from it although honestly i mean he already i think he already assumes they're dead by this point i mean he assumed marlene was dead because until we told him about it so i don't really know what the purpose exactly of that was but just maybe maybe just to give him some hope but i i, I don't know i feel like giving false hope like that i don't, I don't know if that's a if it's gonna make the the pain even worse later i feel like i don't know i'm hoping it's the game, not the game actually somehow suggesting that uh they actually survived that because i don't know how they could all right i mean how could they possibly get off that freaking crumbling tower when they're already like i don't think they were breathing i i, I was i was actually looking at their miles to make sure they're not breathing right no they are definitely not breathing that was their definitely their death scene oh my god though just oh fucking painful man but i gotta say the, the whole ghost thing is so weird to me like it is baffling what is going on with them. It really actually feels like every moment, every time there's a moment where the story actually might deviate significantly. And I like, like, oh, this, this is happening a little differently, but it's still like the same outcome and the same idea and everything, right? Like how Cloud, Cloud gets his dress and, you know, we're gonna save Tifa and booga, booga, booga. But like, there's like a moment where Cloud was about to kill Reno, right? Like he was like getting ready to bring his sword down, the ghost grab him and pull him back. Uh, there was... When I actually thought about it, the ghost hurt Jesse uh, at one point, right? And I was like, why would they do that? But then I was like, oh, but then that made Cloud have to go on the mission, which he wasn't actually going to do initially, which was, again, a bit different than the original. Normally, he just went on the mission afterwards. And then this last part was like, we almost stopped the tower from coming down, but the ghost kept getting in our way, slowing us down. It's really weird. Like, I don't know what is going on with that. It feels like it is like, like <laughs> Nomura keeps wanting to change the story to something different. But then the the ghosts are the are the original creators saying, no, come back here. Come back here, you. I'm gonna reel that shit back in. Weird. I don't know what is up with that. It's gonna play, it's clearly playing to something bigger. I am uh, curious to see what that exactly answer will be. But I'm like, I'm, I'm just gonna be keeping an eye on this now. I'm curious to see like what the ghosts will show up and like interrupt next. Is it gonna be another moment where it happened it was about to it was about to happen differently but then they made it happen like the original again uh but anyway last episode uh xeno nightshade said uh this game has some incredibly well done characterization biggs ever the worry wart spends his last moments thinking about the people left behind jesse who joined out of grief laments and pains her bonds caused wedge who cares about everyone goes down trying to save his cats even the freaking new recruit whose only personality trait is trying to impress his boss chooses to defy him to protect everyone else it's just a lot of really well done little things like that that make this game as good as it is. I, I absolutely agree, Zeno. This is like, they really went above and beyond with these characters and making them, not just like characterizing them, but characterizing them well. Like actually making them feel like real living 
human people, you know? I've heard Max, when he talks about some kind of games that get a little, uh, I don't know, they get a little weird. And like, for example, Keaton Hearts can be kind of this way, but he refers to the characters sometimes not acting like real people, and but instead acting like weird anime robots. And he's kind of right, honestly. Like, as much as I love Kingdom Hearts, and I do, I love Kingdom Hearts. Um, I mean, I can't deny that a lot of the characters' dialogue and stuff in there is super fucking stilted and jank and weird a lot of times, with just constantly spouting heart like our heart part. But what I mean is, like, unlike that, these characters actually talk to each other in a realistic fashion and actually say things that sound like what a real person would say in real life. I don't know, it's just so cute. All these characters are so fucking cute. And that's how the original Final Fantasy VII felt as well, playing through it, you know? that, And I think that's why it kind of resonated with so many people. And not just because it was like the first RPG they played, but it was like the, it was like this game that felt like uh, just a really interesting and fascinating novel or, or book or something. Because I, for one, was not a big reader as a kid. I'm still not really a big reader. I get most of my stories from the games I play. And I don't know, it just... It, it sticks with you. But Zeno, thank you so much for your uh, enlightening comments. Really, uh, I think just drives home how really wonderful this game has been so far and I and just how amazing the characters have been. And it's for that reason you are our comment of the day. So a few other things you guys told me. Apparently, the there actually has been some confirmed connections between Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy X. Uh, apparently, start off as a bit of like uh, fan theories because there's a character in Final Fantasy X too named Shinra who's looking to get like energies from the planet or something. I, I haven't played 10 2 in so long as I, I, I don't even actually remember that. But um, so it had people sort of thinking like maybe they were connected. And initially at first the developers were kind of like joking about it, but then like was later confirmed by I think Katase that there actually was a connection. Like like seven is basically 10 in the, in the way, way distant future, like a thousand years. And on I think some said he maybe another planet. Like, so. <laughs> Uh, interesting. Okay. Uh, so there, there are, like, some potential connections to them. They might just be, uh, like, I don't know. It's, like, hard to tell how much of it is, like, real or how much of they're just kind of, like, just poking fun at people, you know? Like, kind of trolling, like, like, yes. Yeah, throw a little Easter eggs in there, like, get, get people's heads going, you know? I, I don't know. I did see some people say it was confirmed, you know? But it's, like, was he serious? Was he fucking around? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, in the end, it doesn't really matter that much. Probably not, but it's still it's still interesting, you know. And I do like if that is the case, just the little nods they put in here with the you know the spirits acting a lot like the pyreflies from Final Fantasy X, the hymn of the faith thrown in there, and call, call the monster fiends in this game, which they actually didn't do in Final Fantasy VII OG. It's clear they definitely went out of their way to try to maybe fan those uh, theories and uh, create a bigger connection in this game. Oh, yes, and apparently also, uh, also, I didn't really get a chance to see it because I was so focused on trying to steal the items. But uh, uh, if you do play as Tifa and you fight when you're fighting Rude, he does uh, not use all of his skills. He he does use some. Like, I remember there was a point where I was like, I, like, I wonder if Rude's going to be nice to Tifa this time. And the moment I said that, T Rude comes in and does a fucking, like, cartwheel kick into fucking Tifa. I'm like, <laughs> when I went back and saw the footage, I was like, oh, well, I guess not. Apparently, he actually does. He doesn't use all of his moves. I think he uses maybe some of his nicer moves. And apparently, if you're controlling Tifa, he'll actually, like, when he hits Tifa, he go, he actually apologizes every time, which is, oh my god, so fucking funny. I love that, man. Fuck. These characters are so great, guys. Oh, yes. The other thing. So, in regards to the enemy skills, uh, unfortunately, uh, you guys said there are only, like, four enemy skills in the game, and apparently, they're not that great. <laughs> uh, and one of, one of them doesn't even appear until post-game, uh, which definitely kind of blows. That, uh... Definitely kind of blows. Although there's a post game, I guess that's something to look forward to. I I wasn't really sure to be honest. If like once you beat the game, I know there's there is a a new hard difficulty or something that gets unlocked, but I wasn't sure if there was like anything else, um like that like stuff that actually unlocked after you beat it, like you know some of the Kingdom Hearts uh, final boss or secret bosses. But and one one thing I was actually looking through here trying to find it, I did see a few skills that were green, um for certain characters. Here so you, you can see it there. I was like, is that actually indicate? And then you guys point out, oh, it actually does say in the description, but you have to scroll down sometimes. So there it is. Enemy skills can be learned from this monster. Hey, all right. So you just got to get hit by it, I guess. But I, I came across two, the this guy, and then I think one from, uh, was the bomb? Smogger. No, oh, this, yeah, those little dudes. <laughs> I like, it's like, I, I can't see. You have to scroll down to be able to see in the menu there. Um, But those are the only two that I see so far. I don't even know if I could... But may I find these guys on the map? Now, I, the Cerulean Drake, I've, he showed up at the Sector 7 slums like a little boss and then the train graveyard, which I don't know if I can go back to anymore. I still might try to get him just because I do at least want to see him, but 
I, I do kind of wonder where they're going to be listed because I haven't seen them in the mint. I don't see anything in the menu that shows where they would be located. Oh, yes. The other thing with the Wu Tai, the reason why they're really they're really uh, hitting the Wu Tai part home in this game is likely to uh, fan the flames of of war, right? Because they did have a war with the Wu Tai. It's a way of Shinra uh, labeling us as Wu Tai rebels, uh, a terrorist group, right? that uh is related to wutai so that they can also have a reason to fight with wutai again that's a good point i yeah i didn't really think about that again that wasn't really something that was ever brought up in the original that's only something they're, they're doing here i guess it sort of makes it make more sense than it did in the original because it was like in the original it was also you also kind of wonder like how does anyone believe anything shinra is saying right it got kind of comical at times but this time they're trying to they're trying to sort of base a little more reality like they actually are having that that reason that you know for the the people not to just overthrow fucking shinra by this point but all right so on the bright side Aerith, we believe has uh brought marlene over to uh Aerith's house so let's go check up on on them which actually i think about it she, she's got she got a little uh place you can go hang out with her her buddies and stuff yeah uh-huh well i think what you guys actually point out something too about how um I think one thing that really made that, that scene with Marlene really hit home like fucking hard and it, it hit me really hard. Like I teared up at that part with Marlene when she was talking to Aerith like, like, does it mean our home's going to be destroyed? I was like, fuck man, that, that hurt. It was because honestly, it's because Marlene's voice actually voiced by a little girl. She's like eight years old. You should have showed me too. It's like, she's a spunky little girl. She's got, she actually has a YouTube channel. She like, likes talking about different facts That's and stuff. House. Marlene, Marlene. She's been on Ellen DeGeneres and stuff for her TV show. I was like, wow, that's, oh, it's cute. That's, that's really good. I can actually see why they picked that little girl for this role, though, because she seems like she could be like a, a born voice actress or actress because, oh, my God, though, it re like, I think that was a really smart choice because it, it really, it, like, having actually a little girl play a role and just, like, it really just, just kind of hits you right in the fucking feels. Not that having an adult play a younger role doesn't work, but it, it just, it feels more genuine here, you know? And she did a really good job. Is she here? Jesus Barrett. Christ. Barrett, man, come on. Oh. Sorry, I'm Barrett. Marlene's my little girl. Uh, uh, Marlene, she's got short hair. She's cute as a button with the heart of an angel. I really love Barrett she's in this wearing, game. Uh, pink. She was wearing a She's pink dress today. Upstairs. Huh? Oh. I said she's sleeping. <laughs> I want to see her too. Bear's just a big Come teddy on. bear. Let's go look in on her. Remember this part of the original was like Keep it down. Don't wake her. Marlene was like, Daddy, your whiskers are hurting me. So you're getting your whiskers all wet. It was like, oh my god. Hi Maybe there. You should join your friend upstairs. Whatever, lady. I want your CRT TV. Marlene, my baby. Thank God. Hi, Marlene. Oh. <laughs> Shinra has my daughter now. Thanks. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who asked her to go get Marlene. We'd only just met, but she was so kind and helpful. I took advantage of her. It's not your fault. It was only a matter of time before she ended up back there. Because she's an ancient. Is that it? So she told you about that. She must trust you all a great deal. Yes, Aerith is an ancient. Probably the last one living. She's not my daughter. Not by blood, I mean. If that's what you were wondering. Hmm. 
about 15 years ago. My husband, he'd been shipped off to fight on the front lines. But then I received a letter saying he'd be home for a bit. Oh, God, music, man. So when the day came, I went to the station to meet him. But he didn't come. I couldn't help fearing the worst, even then. But I told myself his leave must have been postponed, that he'd been delayed. Every day I went to wait and to pray. And that's how I met her, her and her mother. Oh. I thought maybe they'd run away from Wall Market, or that they were topsiders fallen on hard times. I'd seen that sort of thing a lot. Take Aerith somewhere safe. Those were her mother's dying words. My husband had been away for so long, and I was lonely. So I convinced myself the safest place for the girl was with me. It took no time at all for her to start feeling like family. She was a real chatterbox. Oh, little baby Eric, she's so cute. She told me strange stories. Like how she and her mother had escaped from some sort of facility. And how she wasn't sad because her mother had just returned to their planet. Their planet, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. I didn't understand any of it at the time. When I asked if she meant one in the sky, she said no. This one, right here. I mean... What can you say to that? Mommy, don't be sad. That's what she said to me one day, out of the blue. So I asked her, what's wrong? A man you really, really loved just died. His heart came a long way to say goodbye. But he couldn't stay because he had to return to the planet. Is that Brianna doing her young voice too? If it is, it's... I didn't believe her, of course. And then... Very good. A few days later, I received a letter saying my husband had been killed in action. Things like that, she'd just know. It was a lot to deal with, but we were happy. <laughs> and then came the knock. Coming! No! Don't open the door! Huh, oh, found you. No! Go away! Aaron. You know you're not just any little girl. You're a descendant of the Ancients. I had no idea what he meant, so I said, Who are the Ancients? Who the fuck are you? They were the original stewards of the planet, whose boundless knowledge and wisdom shall guide us to the Promised Land. <sighs> Some believe the Promised Land to be a myth, others an allegory of sorts. But we take the words of the scriptures at face value and believe it to be quite real. Which is why Shinra would like very much for Aerith to help You're us- You're wrong! I'm not an ancient! But Aerith, even when you're all alone, don't you hear voices whispering secrets? No, never! <clears throat> but all three of us knew that wasn't true. That man knew exactly who Aerith was, 
where she'd come from, and what she could do. They knew where she was, but they didn't just take her? Doesn't sound like the Turks I know. She had to come willingly, otherwise it wouldn't work, they said. Ah. Uh, even if they did take her away, I'm sure she's still being treated like a guest. And that they'll send her straight back home once they get what they need. I doubt it. They explain that. You're not planning anything, are you? Don't make things worse than they already are. If I lost her too, I don't know if I could... If I could ever... They didn't really explain that very well in the original game. Just don't. Why they didn't just come and take her like that? Cloud. Maybe she's right about this. Maybe they'll let Aerith go when it's all over. Maybe we'd be better off waiting a little while. Let's head back to Sector 7. Got things to take care of. Like checking up on the bar. Yeah. Oh god, what? Okay. what? Are you gonna go like back to the wreckage of Sector 7 or something? I mean, it's completely covered up, right? I mean, right? It's got a giant plate on top of it. I don't... I, uh... Uh... I don't know if there's much to look at here. That's not something really they explained very well in the original. Like, just that... Like, he, like that whole scene played out almost exactly the same as the original game. Uh, with saying showing up, like, hey, you're an ancient. And, he's, and the girl... And Aerith being like, no, I'm, I'm not. I never explained why didn't they just take her there. But yeah, because it's like, oh, they need her help. But they need, they need her to actually be willing to do it for Shinra. And that is the key to it. And that's why... It's very interesting. I'm glad. I'm glad they clarified that. Take care of yourselves now. Oh, actually, now I think about it. Wasn't there a chest in the room, in Aerith's room, that you couldn't get? I saw her. When, I remember seeing that when she opened the. Yep. Aww. When she came to check up on you that one time. A mythical amulet. We're gonna win this fight. I promise. Oh. I guess I didn't. We didn't see a moment like in the original game. He actually like. Grab Marlene and like hug the crap out of her, and she's like, "Daddy, you get your whiskers all wet and stuff." It's I don't know, it's really cute, but it's okay. We gotta let her sleep. It is late. I'm actually, heading back to Sector Seven. That'd be that'd be new. Oh, it's a it's a accessory. Uh, an examiner that exalts the tutelary tu tutelary entity set to keep watch over the planet. Uh, strengthen summons, call forth in battle. How appropriate that she would have this in her room, right? I guess it just makes them makes them stronger, right? But for the ones that actually attack. But that only happens sometimes. That's really something uh, you probably just want to use for a fight that you know you're going to be bringing a summon to it. I'm actually kind of curious now because it says that you can get in that uh, one of the, the skills there. It says you get the 16 unique weapon abilities. Does that mean there's only one weapon I haven't gotten yet by this point? Because I've already... Like, I got Aerith her staff with the flower shield, but she hasn't learned it yet. And it actually does kind of make me wonder, uh, does that mean it's just like, like one thing left for me to get? I mean, we are getting sort of close to the end game here, at least of the original, uh, Midgar section. I mean, right? Let me, let me see if I'm looking at this correctly. I will say that some of the, one of the biggest, I think, critiques I have against, uh, this, uh, game so far is the, some of the descriptions for things and explanations about stuff is not very well explained. Acquire all 16 uh, weapon abilities. Oh, no, no, it's probably, so there's probably two more then. I just have to, I, I think. I think that, acquire all 16, I, I think, I, I don't know. Because the thing is, I, I think this means 16 for all the characters, like every character. Not, first I thought I meant 16 for, like each character gets like 16 abilities. So I'm like, wait, I'm, but I'm up to 14. There's no way we're up to that many. Because Barrett only has two weapons? Yeah, he only has two weapons so far. And everybody else has like at least four. I was kind of thinking everybody get like at least f at least five, but but they're making it sound like you only get uh, a grand total of sixteen. Oh, sixteen. Oh, I think that might be it actually, because if that because I think Aerith has four, Cloud has four, Tifa has four, and Barrett only has two. That probably means he gets two more weapons. That might be it then. This might this actually might be all the weapons that Cloud and Tifa and Aerith get. Right? She. Oh wait, no, she had five. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we get an uneven number then. She. She hasn't learned this yet. I don't know if it, if it if this counts as 
if you if you have to learn it for it to count towards that battle intel or if it just you just have to have the weapon but if that were the case then it would just say just acquire all the weapons in the game i don't know Fine, whatever all right let's get the shit out of here the main entrance to sector seven is buried under rubble now so how are we supposed to get back inside underground passage in the park ah uh, good plan but how do we get to the park i know another way to get there Aerith showed me before <laughs> this ancient girl knows her stuff didn't mean anything by it my heart is still pounding like holy shit oh okay so we're gonna go use that passage she mentioned before is it the sewers again <laughs> wait are we going to the sewers again oh this song again oh man this, this song was really good i think you guys actually said this is actually one of the new themes composed specifically by nobuo uematsu for this game that's cool Man, that's why I was, I was like, it stood out to me. I'm like, man, this song, this song, it's got a beat to it. It's kind of, kind of, again, sort of melancholic. Or like, like a lot of the music in this game, it's very, it got kind of just a, sort of a solemn feel to it. Uh, well, I guess I can't really do a whole lot. Uh, except for talking to Chadley about some stupid shit. Oh yeah, I should probably check with the Moogle kid and see if he's got anything new too. Oh, I can't. It's blocked off for some stupid reason. Can I go this way? Can I actually go anywhere? Is it, is it gonna just force me back? Yup. Can't go anywhere, fool. What you thinking, huh? Yeah, it doesn't seem like at, at this right now, I, it doesn't seem like there's ever gonna be a moment where I'm just gonna be freely able to explore like all of Midgar. I wasn't sure if there's gonna be a moment where like, maybe I could go to like sectors that weren't included uh, in the original Midgar uh, part of the game. But nah, it's gonna be mainly just the Based on the ones we've we seen up to this point, right? Which is what the original game was. I mean, it's not a big deal. I, I kind of hoped they would expand it a bit more, but but then again, coming up with like reasons to go there, right, would would have been something, and it might have just padded out the game more than it needed to. So I also understand why they wouldn't have done it that way. Um, all right, so we got uh, Leviathan. Uh, oh yeah, so I should probably do the Chocobo thing. There's actually apparently a a uh, trophy in the game for getting like 300% battle damage. I don't know, I guess we can try a Leviathan. All right, so uh, give it a go. Then I invite you to ready. Yes, put on your mask. I don't want to put this thing on. I look like a dumbass. You always look like a dumbass. Fuck you, clown. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh my god, that was a lot of damage. I, uh, I might want to move the fuck away. Oh, this guy ain't fucking around. I got your number. I got your number. Uh, okay. Like I thought, he's weak to, uh, lightning. He's gonna be casting a lot of ice, too, though. Oh, then again, though, it's not really... There isn't actually a water, uh, element in this, is there? Tangling. So I guess they're sort of saying, ah, he's kind of watery ice. <laughs> Uh, some recreating virtual realities. Then he's a tutelary dragon deity said to protect people from natural disasters. Today, most of his worshippers live in the vicinity of Wu-Tai. Uh, okay. Oh my god almighty. That was incredibly painful. Fuck, dude. Uh, Barret. Put the barrier on us, Barret. Oh god, where's it going? Did I hit him? I'm not sure if I did. I'm hitting your dorsal fin. About the carbuncle. Don't let me down. Don't let me down, y'all. Good you. puppy. About damn, About damn time, boy. Bring in the heat. Fire in uh oh. This might hurt. Oh shit! Is 
gonna heal us? What the fuck, Carbuncle? You're the MVP! Holy shit! That little ah, we're still gonna die. I lived through worse. Oh, never mind. No, I didn't. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready for this guy. I don't know if I'm ready for this shit yet. Boy, was, well, I'm fucked up. I'm fucked up real bad. People are counting on you. Yeah, people are counting on you, Barrett. You can't die in VR. Just an Oculus Rift, Barrett. Get over it. This feels a lot more realistic than an Oculus. I'll tell you what. Uh, I'm about to get hit. I'm an idiot. Fuck me. And I lost my ATB. Uh, I need to move. Barrett, keep shooting. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is, uh... Bang, bang, bitch. Gonna die today, bitch. Uh, I am, uh... Fuck, now we're dead. <laughs> Carbuckle almost saved us. I don't know if that's gonna happen right now. That was unfortunate. Wow, remember, you suck. Fuck you. I'm gonna save that one for another time. <laughs> that is, uh, that was a lot of damage. I really gotta get that magnify ability up. Is it close to leveling up yet? I feel like I'm trying to level up for fucking ever. Some of these are so like, they take so fucking long to, to level up compared to others. God, not not yet, really? It's like 500. It's not even that bad. Almost maxed this out. Actually, I, I, I'm hoping that Mana Wall is Barrier and Mana War together. If that's the case, that's gonna make that super fucking good. But that's something I gotta cast at the start of every fight, every fucking time. Interesting though, how all the new ones I'm getting here aren't, they're not connected at all. So it still sort of gives you a reason to even go back and use the old ones. All right, so Magicians. It's only slightly better than the one I've got, but it's got more slots. Uh. Almost reached our uh, uh, weapon level five abilities here. I think just two more levels for for Cloud. So level 28, I think. Yeah. Okay, I don't think there's really anything for me to do here. Just gonna head back to... Oh, now I'm gonna be going back through the expressway. Okay. Okay. Since I can't go this way. So there is a point where I actually to go back through this, uh, through this spot. I gotcha. I don't think there's any reason to go back here. I'm gonna bet Wall Market is probably still like got people looking around. Probably only after I've done this part where they they go away. Oh god! Now we got two plates down. Over there. Screw it. Going this way. I'm not gonna be able to go this way, am I? Oh, I can. Okay. I'm kind of curious. Just real quick, I'm gonna check the town, see if I can move around or go anywhere. Probably not, but I want to make sure there's not some like new weapons or anything here. Oh, regular music's back here. Maybe? No, guards are still over here. And the weapon shop is on that side of town, which I don't think I can get to. No, I can't. Bitch. All right, just wanted to make sure. The guy, I will say it is hard to believe this game has still not gotten an update, though, after all this time. I thought for certain, I was like, man, I'm I'm going through this game so fucking slow compared to so many other people who probably beat it in the first few days. That's good, though. Maybe I'll be able to get that update that a lot of people didn't, and it'll fix all the textures not loading incorrectly, but... Nope. <laughs> nope. Yeah, this is definitely some Unreal Engine 4 problems. And it does seem like at least that's something that might not be as big of an issue in uh, uh, Unreal Engine 5. Based on, based on the demo they showed off. You don't have to worry about, like, you know, textures not loading in until you get close enough. Seems to be something they are trying to uh, work past now, which is kind of cool. The future is looking bright. Maybe the door to the left will be open now. All right, let's keep moving. It is not. All right, here we go again. Back to this place. At least I don't, have to, I don't think I have to worry about using the claw hand this time. Uh oh, no. It's blocked. There, that way. We'll have to fight our way through. Oh. Shot. Oh, here we go. I'm actually going through a different section that I didn't go through before because of the cave in. That's right. I remember Aerith actually bringing that up. She's like, I remember this area to the left being open. But now, now because of the cave in. Uh, okay, cool. I'm, I'm actually glad they did that. So we now go through some different stuff. I thought it was just going to be exactly the same. Just hope there's not any more big robo hands I have to control. They were a little clunky. Ba, ba, ba. 
Mega potion. Yeah. Oh god. Oh, this is a new one. Ring ball. They've got a little icon on them. Why do you have an icon on you? Are you a something I should be trying to kill? Uh, a gorgeous subspecies, larger than their close rel close relatives, and armed with blade-like front legs, drawn by the taste of human flesh. They often venture into residential areas. Become stronger sometime after battle starts, but they will return to normal after taking a certain amount of damage. Why do they have an icon next to them? Usually that means they're like a bounty. I didn't miss any quests, did I? Or check, actually. Make sure, make sure I didn't accidentally like, leave some quests behind. Oh, monster variant. That's what it is. It's saying, hey, it's uh, part of your, that thing, I think. Let me make sure here I didn't. No, I don't see anything new popped up. <laughs> don't give up. <laughs> Sector 5 post collapse. Ugh, gross. I don't imagine you have any, no. Enemy skills. Oh my god, it's these weird fuckers. We're better than them. We're better than you. Holy shit. You didn't usually see these guys until uh, way later in the game. The fucking Nibelheim. Ow! Okay, scam! Oh, hey, I can learn enemy skills! Uh, monsters really created by Shinra's R&D division, but now are fail after some escaped the lab and bred in the wild. Gross. Apoptosis. Okay, Tifa, I have it on you, so you have to do it and cast it on you. Stagger the fuck out of him while you're at it. Suck on this. How do I get him to, to, to do that? That's not it. Thunder, no. Definitely not it. The other thing, in the original uh, Final Fantasy, you got a move that allowed you to basically control enemies. Um, so it was made a lot easier to get enemy skills. Oh, we're done here. Oh, we're done here. Don't know if that's quite an option here. At least not at the moment. So I think I'm just gonna have to wait and hope they cast it on me. It seems like whoever you're controlling is the person they're likely to cast it on though. Or so, uh, oh, I, it's Russ, I, I have materia slots I'm not using. I think I'm gonna put the, the deadly dodge on her. She do uh, so much more with it, I feel like. Okay, these guys again. Is that some new enemy too? I think it is. Uh, oh no, I've scanned these, it's the same guys. The other problem is I can't really stop my uh, my pals from beating up the dudes that I want enemy skills from. Man, so there's only four of these in the game. <laughs> they haven't fully uh, fleshed out the system yet, so they're like, ah! Can't see. Worked up a good sweat. Hey, barrier maxed out. All right, there we go. And that did contribute to my uh, battle intel. Yeah, this is this is a definitely an end game one. MP absorption, huh? HP absorption. All right, so what does it do? What does Man of War do? Or what Man of Wall? Yes, that's awesome. That's fucking awesome. Okay, super, super, super good. Now, if I can just get the uh, this one to level up, I'm almost there. Oh, hello. Hey, these guys. Oh, this guy's got a enemy skill, right? Yep. All right. Well, he does every time I kill him, so that'll be pretty easy to at least get. Power. Power. I'm so. I'm wondering. I'm always not like, oh, Tifa has to survive this because I don't know if she will. <laughs> All right. Blow up. I can't. Wait. I won't. Oh, I thought it. I thought it only did it after I killed it. Guess not. God damn, these fucking sweepers! Uh, all the way to the end game, they're still kicking our asses. All right, hit him with the dank shit. Ah, fuck you. Here we go. I'll be better next time. I promise. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I was. I'd heard that one before. I'll do better next time. Ah, me too. Oh. All right, see how much Kiraga does. I haven't actually, I don't even think if I've used it yet. Bear's got so much health. 3,300, 3, all right. Boxes with nothing in them. Oh God, I see some drunk bandits over there. Oh, we got a way over here too. Oh, I feel like I'm back in the subway again. Some crazy graffiti they got on the walls here. Heavy duty bracer, neat. What in the hell is going on here? That's some Illuminati looking shit. Use your imagination. 
uh, Desire. The Trail Tunnel? What does that say? Oh, no. The Train Tunnel. That's what it says. And then this one says something about... <laughs> I have no idea what that one says. Uh, the... The Arkham Avengers. <laughs> I see something... The something Avengers. I have no idea what that top word is. Anybody know what that says? What's that, what's that word? I, th I think it's the something. The Mako Avengers? I don't know. We're going to figure this out, though. I'm sure it's incredibly vital to this, <laughs> this story. Down with authority. There we go. Hey, it's, it's graffiti I wrote. Damn it, Barrett. Stop trying to call us anarchy. Oh, but so much fun, Cloud. Stop fuck syndrome. To the authority. All right, all right, get it. Blah, blah. These guys weren't even doing anything. I just came over and beat the shit out for no reason. <laughs> That's right, I'm mugging you, bandits. Hey, yeah, don't come back. I'm gonna send him back. I'm sending him back to the live stream. How many people have we killed in this game? It's like a lot. Oh my god, who the fuck is that? Looks like a Mortal Kombat character. Da, 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 da. Ah! You piece of shit. Just that you go dying. Hey, magnify materia finally leveled up. Thank you, fuck. Okay. Keep those gloves up. Sure thing, coach. <laughs> I love it. Ah, uh, getting some new banter here. Uh, okay. Okay, so next level is fifteen hundred. So that now it's just reduced by forty-five percent, less than half. Still lasts a little longer. God, story. Seriously, just to get this to level two, you need twenty-five hundred for elemental. Good God Almighty. It's supposed to get busted or something. If it's if it takes that much to level it up, I mean, prevents linked elemental damage. I mean that that definitely could be good for some boss fights. Actually, probably would help a lot with. Uh, I think about it with the Leviathan. Put that on. Have it resist a uh, Blizzard, or even just doing half damage to the Blizzard attacks you were getting would probably help a lot. I'll uh, definitely have to consider that next time I retry uh, Leviathan. I see you, chest. Bottle of Aether. Okay, I think we've almost looped back around here. Hello, friends. Oh, God, it's these guys again. Beck. It's Beck and team. Beck, Burke, and Grungy Bandit, who I actually haven't scanned yet. Beck, Butch, and Burke. Why are you back here again? Haven't you learned your lessons yet? I didn't even, I didn't even get a cutscene. Uh, oh, shit. Hire... This guy's actually fucking diesel compared to the other three. Uh, hired muscle working for Beck's badasses with massive bulk. He delivers devastating blows one after the other. He likes his fights clean and fair, remains honorable in, in victory and defeat. The other damage interrupts his attacks, but he soon counters with a throwing technique, evading the attack and hitting him while his guard's damage is simple uh, to staggering. <gasps> He's got champion belt. I think that's the same thing that I got from the tournament, right? Well, let's get another one, right? Uh... Give me. Damn it. Oh, shit. Look the fuck. Look the fuck out of Barrett there. Oh, boy. It's going to take a while. Oh, you bastard. There's kill these dudes. Leave the big guy. Ah, okay. Bex Badasses is almost ow. Big cure. Jesus. Okay. They're dead. Now for this guy who's very angry and doesn't like us. There we go. Got it. All right, Tifa, kick his ass. Power. Oh, yeah. Oh, big punch. Big punch. Get that shit out of here. That's a win. <laughs> I, like there's, I like there's no banter this time with them. It was just like, nope, they're here, and we're going to fuck them up again. All right. I think it was, yeah. Just, But it shows that this guy, there's a little storytelling there, right? Because it shows that this guy won the tournament as well. I like that. Uh, I think I'm actually going to put the champion belt on him, t on Cloud, too, because... 
Plot just gets his ass beat so much. He needs that additional health. Ba, ba, ba. All right. I think uh, that was probably the last little bit here. <laughs> it's a nice way to finish this area off again by beating up the Bex Basses for the third time. <laughs> what? That was that bear? Sorry, I only finished. Shit, before stuff started happening again. Ew, rejuvenate. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Team help me. Team I leveled up. Boom, and she punched the shit out of things. Maybe dial it back a little. Yeah, we're actually seeing a bunch of new stuff. Now we're all friends, right? We don't hate each other. Although, I, I think Cloud and Bear probably will still riff on each other every now and then, but we're buddies. We went through a traumatic event. We've all learned valuable life lessons. Okay. Stem buff duration and a boost to wind damage for the Sonic Strikers, which I, I've actually been sticking with those because I just want the... I've been sticking the elemental material on uh, Tifa. And it's been so fucking effective. Okay, back to the arms. Over there. <laughs> that way out. I'm almost afraid to go back to see it with my own eyes. Tifa. Come on. Oh. Does it look like we can go this way? <laughs> no. There are people over here. Pretty sure this ought to take us straight to the You fools! Are you gonna Bex badasses around here? Oh wait, oh never mind, they're dead. Not the kitty slide, no! Oh, that dude. You're alive. How the fuck? Still in one piece. Who else made it out? Side quest guy. I wish I knew. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. I'm just glad you survived. Gives me hope for the others. Hmm. Hmm. This is bad. <sighs> maybe we're gonna learn. Maybe he just has to see for himself that they're gone. Oh, hey, we got shops over here. We can't afford to lose any more lives. Not now. <gasps> oh, it's a little girl! I really hope that all my friends are okay. I'm sure they are, honey. Don't worry. Aerith saved your ass, little girl. I really hope Be that thankful. all my friends are okay. I'm sure Not just your are. kitties. Don't what about Aerith? Uh... Okay, we got the stuff. You never know what you're gonna run into out there. Best be prepared. Yeah. Got a new song? Yes, you do. A discontinuing a jazzy song. Oh, that's cool. Let's see what song is this? Ooh, he's selling remedies now too. Oh, the town theme. Da na 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 na. Da na 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 na. Oh wow, that's a. Uh... That's a pleasant, uh, pleasant listen. Oh, I got bear in our part. Let's see, uh, will we start dancing to this? If it's like we're staying right next to it? Let's see if I start tapping my foot. I mean, it's not a jukebox, but there's music. Uh, no, I don't think so. Probably, I guess just jukeboxes. Sector 7, huh? Yeah. Left a few things behind. You see, I know it's not much, but it's all I got. Hey, something new? You're holding out enough with- Oh my god, yes, it is Big Bertha! A firearm that boasts unrivaled destructive force found in the slum's black market. Holy shit. It's like a- Oh, it is like a fucking bazooka or something. Maximum fury. Assume all ATB charges to fire a long stream of bullets at an enemy. Sweet. This is gonna be, uh, Barrett's, like, hard edge slash mithril thing, right? Slash, uh, metal knuckles. Everybody gets their big, their big beefy weapon. Oh, I can afford it. Um, anything new? No, same stuff. Let me check the battle intel here. Did that affect anything? It didn't. I think that might be it then. Acquire all 16 weapon abilities. That actually makes me think that this is, this is it. This is the last thing. It's that all, it's fact this is all, right? Makes me think that that's the last uh, weapon ability in the game. So once I've learned this and Aerith's uh, flower shield, 
and that's it. Damn. So no more weapons, huh? So I guess that means that Barrett only gets uh, gets these three. Hey, what the hell? Just because I don't show up for a good chunk of the game. Uh, oh, Prissy Bones finish off an enemy. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade it real quick. 95 points. Just two. Fuck me. New material slot. And that's it. Just one material slot. So brings up to four. And then we got, oh my God, a fuck ton of health for Barrett. Uh, oh wow. No, this is actually, this increases power a bit, but it also just gives him a shit ton of defense. I mean, uh, HP. Both. <laughs> HP. This is definitely the, uh, it increases tanky nature here. Okay. Um, attack power plus five with high HP. Uh, physical defense, match defense with low HP. The trade off. Self-healing, 50% boost with low HP. What's the trade-off again? Recover MP when receiving significant damage. Yeah, that's good. Let's go with the physical defense with low HP. All right, glad I saw us a link on here. Big Bertha, oh my God, his HP. Jesus Christ. Big beefy bear rat cakes. No, 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 no. Guys, I don't know if you're gonna be moving that anytime soon. I think we need, we need a big hand, like the ones back here. Guys, you're blocking the slide. I won't be able to go up it because of that. <laughs> what if I could climb up this and just go and blah, plow right into them? <laughs> Sorry. All right. Are we going back in the sewers again? Or is this like a different thing? Head underground. Oh, it's a bit different. Service tunnel. Okay. Let's see what's on the other side. Okay, cool. If it, as long as it's like, it's not the exact, like, let's go to the sewers again. No, this is a, it's a bit different. Got a different aesthetic to it. I'm fine with it. Oh, fuck. Yeah, so this is clear this has been set up like as a I guess a secret way for people normally to move between sector the sectors. Get past that big door. Oh god. That one was a lot closer. Hello! Is there anyone out there that needs some help? Just like that, we're back. Oh. My God. Just a little more. Come Jesus. On. Come on. It won't budge. Make room. We got this. I can do this myself. Mara, you're alive. <laughs> With me. Ready? And... <clears throat> Great job, guys. Thank you. Aw. Everybody loves Tifa. I can't tell you how relieved I am to see you. So, what now? Don't know. Find something, anything to do. Been back to the bar yet? No. Maybe you should go take a look? <sighs> Somebody's anything left. Okay. First the bar, then the rest. Careful. The roads are a mess. Watch your step or you'll wind up in a hole. Oh, the song. Da -na -na -na. Ba -ba 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 -ba. If you can hear me, say something. It's actually like ooh. This song's actually usually kind of a happy song. This is like a sad version of it. I take it that little Marlene safe and sound. That little girl's a hell of a lot stronger than you might think. 
<laughs> Marl, are you okay? You seem to be uh, swiveling in place. I take it that little Marlene safe. Like, oh, oh, oh. I'm very confused. Ha, ah, ah. ha. Anybody out there? Jesus Christ, man. God, so much of this game has been just like the aftermath of these just horrible, like if you can hear me, explosive help. tragedies. Can you hear me? And again, it all feels disturbingly realistic. Well, here's part of it. And all's left. Not the jukebox on the dartboard! And the pinball machine! I never got to see the hideout this time! Uh oh, uh oh. Shit. Hear that? <gasps> Mr. Kitty? That's Wedge's cat. Oh, God. <gasps> Wedge! Is he maybe alive? Let's baby? Do you somehow survive this shit? Mr. Kitty, did you use your powers to save Wedge? I swear to God. He's Three, over there eating Wedge. One, God damn, Mr. Two, Kitty! This ain't no time! That's not a treat. That's our beloved friend. Show us the way. Please show us a perfectly healthy and alive wedge, Mr. Kitty. Where? In here? No. Oh, no, okay. Keep Is going. Is this all that's left of Wedge's place? Whoa, hello. It's like a it's like a sinkhole or something? Uh oh, hey, here we go. We're coming down. Stay right where you are. Oh, there's like a maiden's tunnel down here. This place reeks of Shinra. Yeah. Wedge? Wedge! What the fuck is this place? <gasps> there he is! Is he actually alive? No, I saw him! Fuck you! Shinra underground test site? What? Damn, it's a big gun I got on my arm. This is very new. I think I should remember some of the NPCs talking about there being like a test site to Sector 7, right? Tifa. Cloud! Shout if you can hear me! Hey! Oh, bear time! Alright, it's my game now. Destroy obstacles to progress. In search of... If a search scope appears... When you are a control bear, that means there's destructible objects nearby. Uh, look around for target objects, press swear to blast the bark to op obstacle and clear the way forward. Note that obstacles cannot be destroyed, they may melee weapon equipped. Ooh, cool. You All right. No path, you gotta make one. <laughs> gotta make one. Hell yeah. Bear time to shine. Uh, all right. Knew about this big gun in the shop for a reason. The fuck out of my way. Oh, we gotta, I just gotta hold it. Ah! Reload for fucking pussies! Uh-oh. Bugaboo! Oh, bugaboo, I don't have any material to scan you. Hey, HP up materia. Perfect. Oh my god, that makes him break 5,000 HP now. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing, bugaboo. <laughs> really, Barrett? Really? Oh. There ain't nobody here to listen to me in my sick tunes. Just ain't the same. Without Cloud rolling his eyes at Tifa, telling me to shut the fuck up. Oh, God, that was awesome. Is that a. Oh, my God. Boxes everywhere. Ha, the Cloud can have all the fun with the boxes. You better guess again, son. That's how you break a box. Oh, we got more over here. Holy shit, there's a whole lot of them. Da -da 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 -da. 
Can I say the lighting from uh, Barrett's gun when he shoots is really fucking cool. It looks so fucking real. When it like refl it reflects off his uh, his body, it's just like shit. <laughs> I don't know how I'm grabbing it when I'm down here, but it's all right, whatever. Suck on it. Suck on it. Getting lots of Moogle medals. What I'm talking about. But that little Moogle asshole has more shit for me. I imagine he probably does. Next time I get it, I can get back to sector five. I have this very distinct feeling um, before this, like the next major story part after this part, I think there's probably a moment where I actually can sort of free roam around the sectors that I can go to, right? Which is going to be wall market and sector five and probably do like some side missions before like the big final arc of the of Midgar and the game. Just have a distinct feeling. You want to throw down me, bugaboo? Bugga, bugga, dead, more luck. Woo, yeah, high five me. High five break. Press put the assess material on him just in case. Oh, here we go. I got some more. Okay. Uh, Stuff over here, too. Where the fuck am I going? Oh, I actually don't know. It's saying blue mark is unknown. Whoa. Hey, booty. The shit out of that chest. Give me that two thousand dollars. Dun 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 dun. How long it take him to build all this beneath our feet? Hmm. We're not going down without a fight. Bloodhound. Uh, I have scanned you. Ow, you dick. Oh, wait, let's do the maximum fury. Oh, oh my god, that's some cool shit, baby. Damn, I did a ton of damage. By the way, you guys sort of point out, you can sort of cancel out of Barrett's uh, uh, this animation by just hitting the charge button, which also helps to charge his gun, so it's sort of like a double. A double good thing. That's cool. I like that. We got the strats. God, seriously, it's gonna be a pain in the ass for bear climbing ladders. My God, I'm so fucking built. Hey, you'd think they dug halfway to hell. Hey, you really stupid. <laughs> me? Uh oh, how about I build up my gauge enough to? There we go. Right, I haven't scanned you now. Let's make it. Large insects that live in the, the ground beneath Midgar. The collapse of the place made these creatures more active, and they will attack swarms when intruders wander in their territory. They must die. Their weakness is wind, if you, for some reason, really need to know that. Mega potions. You hear ground from behind the door. Oh. Is this suggesting I don't try to break that, maybe, or? Ow. Hey, dickhead. Have a taste of this. Boom. Jesus. I hear that. What the fuck is behind this? Ugh, that not sound good. and some Mako shit or whatever on more subjects or something. Oh. Two ways to go. Boom. Healing car carcinet, carcanet. What be that? It's like improve your healing abilities or something. Uh, increase effectiveness of healing items, spells, and abilities. Yes, it does. Cool. Bum, 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 bum. You really want to throw down with me? Hate this dickhead. <laughs> Woo! Total overkill. <laughs> 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 
why he doesn't when nobody's around. This is what I mean. Everybody in this game's a fucking dork. Oh, there we go. Weapon ability learned. Just like that, I killed three enemies and immediately got the ability. All right, yeah, so I only need one more, which unfortunately I won't be able to do until I get Aerith. Big ass area. Die, you doom rat boats. I'm really going to enjoy burning it all down. But burn all this damn. I'm going to start with these boxes. Yeah, show those boxes what's up. Oh, wait, there's more over here. Suck on there, box. What the fuck? fuck is this shit? Ew! It's like fucking weird swarm of shit going down here. Get out of here, bugs. Uh, they blocking the way? Oh, yeah. Is this doing anything? I, uh... I don't think it is. Uh, am I shooting at? Oh, this thing? Oh, here we go. Eat this, bugs. Hope that didn't fuck up the planet. Yeah. Sorry. But not really. I'm coming, girl. Shit, damn ladder, ladder, my stubby arms. Uh. There we go. Damn it, Cloud. Burn, 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 bang, bang. All right. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. All right, gotta go find Wedge. Come on. Yeah, yeah full clout. <laughs> hey! Well, you're fine. Take care of your name, sir. Oh, God, that's a big ass fan. Boxes to break. Break all the fans. Oh, I see some green materia. Yeah, take that, Shinra. Gonna destroy your AC. You're gonna be all hot and shit. And super uncomfortable. I'm afraid to ask, but did you just shoot your way in here? <laughs> yeah. Well, well, yeah. Worth, didn't it? <laughs> I love it. Barry, you know you're supposed to come crumbling down, right? Eh, we'll fine. God damn it, you stupid. Ah! Break this thing open, give me some green shit. I see you. Ice materia. I got plenty of that shit already. Come on. I haven't got some time. I haven't got a time magic yet. Give me some of that. Okay, we got stuff on the other sides here, too. God, you're just spat as cloud. You're supposed to read every box you see. There's stuff in the box, Tiva. You don't understand. Maybe if you were in control, you would understand. You get the thrill of shooting boxes or punching boxes, whatever the hell you do. Ether. Suck on this. <laughs> Suck on this door. Turbo Ether. I don't know if I've used a single Turbo Ether. I really haven't actually used many Ethers, despite probably needing to. <laughs> Definitely moments I've run out of MP, but I've always like I've always been super like frugal about my Ethers. You know, I got 39 of them and five of these. Probably using them a bit more often. Oh, blue materia. That's what I want to see. What we got? Uh, warding materia. Which one's that again? Oh, reduce buff duration or debuff duration. Uh, really? Come on, I need another magnify materia game. 
It's like the one I least I least want. I'm getting so many Moogle medals right now. If I gotta climb another damn ladder. <laughs> I swear to God. Easy for you guys. We got you with your two arms and shit. Nothing. Poor old bear here. Oh god, we got a lot of stuff over here. Uh oh, uh oh. Ah! Oh god. Uh time to steal it up. Maximum fury! Boom, bitch. Alright, now lay waste. Oh my god, that's a lot of fucking damage. I wonder if MP regenerates out of fights. Probably not. He's a lot tougher than people think. Probably sleeping soundly, dreaming about his gas. You're right. We should treat him to a nice meal when he gets back. His choice. Guys, he actually really gonna be alive? Bring it home. I will be shocked, but very happy. Come on, stupid! Hit me with your enemy skill. No, not that move. Ow. Dance of death. No, not that. Come on, hit me with it. What do you want me to do? I know you got it in there somewhere. Uh-oh. Get off. Come on, man. Barrett, don't kill him. Uh, too late. Nothing's gonna stop you would say that. <laughs> Cute. Hmm. Gotta stay on my toes if I'm gonna make it out of here alive. Gotta make sure to get all the songs first. Main theme of Final Fantasy VII. Jazzy. <laughs> Alright, my turn now to sit on the seat. That's right. Plato is in a, his taking up the whole seat, man spreading. Stupid spiky ass. Show him what's up. No, <laughs> ah, damn it. Ah, Why well, find him? Ah! Cloud, are we almost there? Are we almost find you yet? Or Wedge or somebody? What'd you get? Wedge. Is his eyes open? See. He... He's okay. Oh my God. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Yay! Making me worry like that. I kicked your ass if you didn't look like shit. <laughs> thank God. Well, that's one person. I cannot thank you, Mr. Kitty. You saved him. You dragged his fat okay. ass. Let's go. You struck, Mr. Kitty. Wow, I can't believe you. Sure. They let him live! Yay! You go last little time, Wedge. It's you, all right. Yeah, yep, it's you, all right. Huh. You lot ass, you. What is this? It's a good question. Barrett. <clears throat> uh, go through the door. Oh, put Wedge on that side of the door. Just why don't we? Why don't we just leave? What the fuck is that? What in the living fuck is that? What in the shit? Oh, right, some Xenoblade monsters. Where were you Unknown entity? Uh, okay. Let's have a look. There's a fucking lot of them. Experimental specimens. Ca oh no, it's the weird alien things. Yeah, that's right. I don't know if we. I think it's. I think this might be what they are. It's like the thing that Cloud found in a flashback in the original game. Uh, we never. I don't think we ever fought them though. We just saw them. At least I don't think we ever fought those. Uh, th uh, these look a lot like those. Uh, underground, underground research. They were human once, but cellular transplants designed to enhance their strength have turned them into monsters. Ugh. These guys not giving me any. They don't give me any experience. Really? It's a fuck ton of them. Boom. 
All right. Tifa, time to spin. Okay. Power. Power. Ah! Oh, some music, man. Holy shit, it's getting crazy, boy. Okay, we're doing all right, I think. All right, they're a lot scarier than they actually are. They really are in a fight here. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, wait, there's more of them. Never mind. Of course there's more. Thank you even got a hand. <laughs> Come back. Come back. Spin, Tifa. Ah. Let me see what Deadly Dodge does on Baron. Still wonder. I feel like it can't be. It can't be worth it, honestly. Or, or like jumps out and does like a spin shot or something. Is that guy new? No. He's just shooting from a distance. Okay, that guy's dead. Feel the heat. Boom. Real tired of this shit. More. Close the dock tower. How do I do it? Oh, there we go. What in the living fuck? Oh, that might be a slightly stronger one. Whoa! Oh, damn! Let me need it, girl! I think at least. Yeah. That's definitely a stronger one. He's very big. I can't actually lock onto him either. Claim? Oh, wait, no. Failed experiment. An experimental specimen kept in the Shinra Underground Research Facility it was a human once, but so transplanted from various large creatures turned to a terrifying creature. It leads a group of failed test subjects. Can I switch to... Oh, I can't. Good. Appendage. Oh, man. This thing's got a lot. Uh, oh, he's got Mithril Claws. All right. Wait. Oh, I do get more weapons. Why does it say all 16 abilities then? Am I... It, it must be misleading. That's not. I guess it does. It means that those aren't all the weapons then. Okay, good. I was afraid. It. I was like, Did I already gotten every weapon now. Just slightly misleading. You can steal poison, but I can buy it in the shop. I don't need to do that. Uh, it's weak to ice. Holy fuck! Did he just chuck one of his his pals there? <gasps> ah! Oh god, Tifa, you better run, girl. Bail it, bear it. Ah. Uh, heal. Ah. Uh, how do I get up there? Is there something I can target? Man, I just got to have to kill this guy. Uh, all right, let's hit him with the blizzard. Uh, all right, you need something bigger than that, huh? That's some fucking big shit. Oh, God, he's coming. I hope that hits him. I don't think it did. Is this something I'm getting over here? I'm just waiting for him to get closer, or, or what? Bear, target this guy. Fuck the little scrubs. They ain't nothing. Uh oh. Curse me, my fat rolls. Uh. Okay, I am not building up a stagger a lot. Oh, I got I got a weakness there. What was that? Was it the appendage? I think it was. Yeah, it's like backside or something. Yeah, there it is, right there. Lock onto that, Barrett. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Here we go. That sure looks like a three point to me. Boom! Wait. Uh Tifa, hit him with uh some really, really strong shit.
Did him with it? I don't know if it did. Oh god, what's happening? I feel like I didn't accomplish anything up there. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh god, uh. Okay, put the cure. Oh god. No, get him with something better than that. Um, that. No Barret. Put the. Mana wall. Yeah! Oh, fuck. What the fuck? Oh no, he put shit on them. Okay, this is the problem because I'm actually trying to aim for uh, his appendage, but it's really hard to do when there's so many. Okay, there we go, there we go. So many different targets here. Got it. All right. Lay in him. Tifa. Come on, stagger. He's almost there. Come on. Can I not stagger him if he's not like on the ground? Come on. Really? Oh, God. Fuck me, man. Yeah, I know I've got a. A summon here. There we go. Oh no. Don't go to another phase. Okay, good. Power. Ah, fuck out of this piece of shit. Uh-oh. Okay, he's powering up. Energizing. Well, you know what? I'm about to fucking energize your face here in a second. Get him. Big kick time! Oh, kick him right in the dick, Diva! <laughs> Super dick kick! <laughs> oh, my balls! Oh. <laughs> oh, God, here comes Cloud. Ah. Yeah, I helped. Yeah, I know. I'm a bitch. Oh, big shot! Time for a big shit! Ah. Haven't done that one in a while. Hell yeah. So how'd you manage to track us down? Followed the trail of bullet holes. <laughs> There's nobody else I know that can leave that kind of mess. Follow the screaming. Cloud, wait, Cloud, you're not back in my party yet? All right, I guess I gotta do this. Uh, one last shot for old time's sake. Oh, wait, we good? Is that it? Oh boy. Oh God, were those people? This is what Heidegger was talking about before with his his men, wasn't it? He's like, yeah. round up. That's the Shinra I know. Round up some more people. Oh God. Ah. Cloud. 
cloud? Oh, the fucking ghosts are back. What now? They carry us out of there? What the hell was that? Ghost spirit. I carry a wedge out too. We need to get him somewhere safe. Everything else can wait until after. Agreed. Let's go. <clears throat> Cloud's like, oh, I didn't get to do anything in this last fight. You're coming to Mr. Oh. Kitty. Good kitty. <laughs> yeah, good kitty. That's a good kitty. I'm proud of you, Mr. Kitty. What the hell, Cloud? Join our party. Altiva got some new shit. Uh, Mithril Claws. Uh, key trap. Create an orb of materialized key that deals damage on contact. Cool. Gloves with razor, sh razor, sh razor sharp talons made of magic infused mithril. Ooh. Oh, yes. This is her magic, uh, magic gloves. Cool. Okay. I see an empty material slot already. Get it. Just, just, just get it. Okay, um, attack spells, MP cost reduction. Really? Woo! Yeah, this is all about that magic, baby. Okay, I definitely want the attack spells reduction. Oh, wow! Reduces fire, ice, lightning, wind damage taken. That's cool. Activation 30%. Uh, yes, please. That's super good. Um, yeah, that's pretty great, too. Always want the concentration. Uh, do some attacks. So it's not total garbage. Uh, magic. More magic. And more MP. It does mean she's gonna lose a uh, material slot though, but it's all right. All right, come on, Wiz, taking you home. I can't imagine Biggs and Jesse are alive though. All right. We wouldn't have all these guys survive. I'm gonna look around for the others. He made it, didn't he? They could still be alive. I saw them both at the pillar. Oh. Jesse and Biggs. Saw how bad they were hurt. I'm sorry, but Oh, they they did. They've returned to the planet. Oh, the cat. Oh, that was what they were doing. Okay. Yeah. They they were supposed to return to us. Oh man, what's just gonna feel like shit now too though? He's gonna hate being the only one that survived. Still glad he's okay though. But if we stop now, they'll never let us live it down. <clears throat> so we carry that weight. Well, we found a little bit of hope, huh? Broken dreams. That was nice, though. I, I liked it. That was a nice little addition, I think. Just going back there, they managed to find Wedge. They found this weird Shinra underground lab. And then they finally confirmed that, yeah, Biggs and Jesse were dead. And then they didn't... They, they That's why they didn't tell him. Okay, okay, good. I'm... 
I would have felt, I think if it would have, it would have felt a little, I think, I, I might have been a little miffed if they ended up just being alive too. I'm I mean, sorry. don't be wrong. I, I mean, I love those characters, but it would, it would be kind of like, it would kind of ruin the moment from earlier, right? That bit of the emotional weight. Be like, oh, they just turned out to be alive too. And that would be a big deviation from the original game. I truly am. We had no other place to go and... I would never leave a wounded man out on the street. Keep dropping people on your doorstep. Ah! <gasps> Got a kitty now. Elmira, I know what you said, but you have to let us go after Aerith. Not this again. We found an underground Shinra lab where they've done human testing. Ah. This wasn't the first time, and it won't be the last. I know these people, and I know they're never going to let Aerith go. She's the last living ancient on the planet. Think about what that means to Shinra scientists. Especially to that son of a bitch, Hojo. We're all just numbers and meat to him. But... Cloud talking about Hojo. Please. I need some time to think. You've all had a long day. Why don't you go upstairs and get some rest? Fine. I chill out and dream about Sephiroth killing me. Tifa? Can I come in? Uh, I don't see anybody out here. I think she's downstairs or something. There she is. Was she out there the whole time and I didn't see her? Am I blind? Can't sleep? No. You too? I heard footsteps. Sorry, didn't mean to wake you. I'm a light sleeper. It's a soldier thing. <laughs> that flower you gave me the other night, that was from Aerith, wasn't it? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I knew there was something weird going on. You buying flowers? They symbolize reunion, believe it or not. I was curious, so I looked it up. I tried to keep it alive as long as I could. But now, it's dead and buried. <sighs> like the bar, our home, and everything else. Aww. <laughs> they took everything from us again. Hug. Cloud. Huh? Cloud, you're hurting me. Oh. <sighs> Very tight squeeze. Sorry. It's stupid. I know that crying's a waste of time. Cloud not know his own strength. That's not true. Hmm. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. 
Cloud loves you, Tifa. You've done more for us than we deserve. I won't forget this. If you ever need anything, all you gotta do is holler. Happy to help out, however I can. Elmira. I've been thinking about what you said. She's calling out to me. I can feel it. We all can. So please. She's our friend. We have to help her. Mm -hmm. I always knew it was coming. Knew that one day I'd have to say goodbye to my baby girl. But not yet. <sighs> Please, bring her back to me. Hmm. God, lady. Daddy! Yeah. <laughs> Marlene. Are you going? Uh, I'm sorry, honey. I wish I didn't have to. I wish I could be with you all the time. I really do. I gotta save the world. But if I stay here, I can't fight out there. Hmm? Yeah. <sighs> Some bad people are trying to hurt the planet. And Daddy, Daddy and his friends are trying to stop those bad people. The slums, your friends, the whole planet. It's Daddy's job to protect it. Hmm? <sighs> Aw. Yeah. And that's why I've got to go. You remember that nice girl who came to find you? Well, now we have to go find her. And when we bring her home, you need to say thank you, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> girl, she was kind of... <sighs> what? Nothing. Oh. You should help her. What the hell? We will. Keep an heiress weird secret, whatever it was. She's kind of what? You'll come back. Right? Oh. Of course. I promise. What do you know, Marlene? Okay. You can go. <laughs> Aw. She's a good girl. She's tougher than me. <laughs> Putting the shades back on. Alright. Time to get some payback. Don't forget why we're doing this. I know, I know. To rescue Aerith. <gasps> Purple stuff! So, how are we supposed to get topside? With everything that's happened, the trains still aren't running. Well, we could walk along the tracks. Pedometer? He's on high alert. All the roads and public transit have probably been locked down by now. So what's the plan then? You know another way up? No, but I think I know someone who might. You mean Corneo. Oh. Ooh, all right. But I'm going to bet there's fucking quests, right? No, nothing unlocked? Nothing yet? Okay, Cloud, one more level and you get uh, to unlock some new abilities for your weapons too. Or what's this pedometer thing? Is this like stronger the more you've run around? Current steps. Goal 5,000. May do something after taking a number of steps with its set. What? Are you serious? I guess I'll put it on then. Does that count for... Can I put on one of these other characters? Yeah, I can put on somebody else. So 5,000. So, something might happen. Maybe do something. Okay. Just do this overnight. Oh, I can't just run in place. It's smart enough to figure that out. I can't just do this. I actually have to move around. Well, it's not terrible. I think I could probably do it. I might actually do it between this episode and the next, but um, uh, I think this is probably a good place, guys, to end things here for now. Oh, uh, that was sweet. I like that uh, Cloud and Tifa had a nice little hug there. It was so cute. And Cloud did hug a little too tight. But it's funny, just like, you just see how 
kind of fucked up Cloud is, right? Like he doesn't know what to do initially. Like he's just so confused, and then finally he like he's like he's like, oh wait, I probably should hug her back. Ah, uh, poor, poor little weird little Cloud. But I have a distinct feeling now. Like I bet that we're gonna get some side quests here on this part. I I just have a a feeling because we really are starting to get now into the end game at least of the original game but anyway guys i hope you all enjoyed this episode if you did please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe if you're not ready to become piggy penguin for this lp where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny i'm gonna be running around in circles <laughs> until the next episode and we'll see what happens to this material hopefully it's not just like all right you got five thousand now get ten thousand now a hundred thousand now a million and congratulations you've unlocked another pedometer materia <laughs> god damn it but anyway piggy penguins as always till next time guys uh, uh, stay classy uh, uh, uh.